Hello, and welcome to a near series. So, some of you may remember when I played Escape from Tarkov in the past, though it wasn't quite Escape from Tarkov. So, this is actually Escape from Tarkov. You can see down here, this is the current version after streets have been added. This is up to date. We're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to keep that name because... We're going to go ahead and it doesn't really matter who we pick. Uh, we're going to pick Bear just because. What shall we name ourselves? Hmm. And Or not name, but how shall we make ourselves look? I mean, this really doesn't matter either. So, what do we got here? <laughs> they, they added the English version of voice for her, the Russians. What's up over there? I like that one. What's up over there? That one actually sounds like a Russian guy talking English. The other one sounds like an American putting on a bad Russian accent. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's not, but... Alright, so... First things first. We're gonna go in here. And we're immediately going to... So, I have the Edge of Darkness edition, but that also doesn't really matter that much for what we're doing. Take everything off. Go to Therapist. Do some examining. Now, I don't want to make y'all sit through me examining every item that I can, really. Because that's boring, isn't it? So what we're going to go ahead and do is immediately sell off everything that we can. Now, some of you may be familiar with this concept of getting rid of everything you have, as this is the start of hardcore, basically. That's where you literally start with nothing, and you go in and you can't... Uh, you know, buy items off the flea, or are restricted in a lot of ways. This is going to be a little bit different. Okay, we've sold everything we could to therapists. Now we're going to go over here. Yeah, I'm going to examine all this in a little bit. Yeah, I'm not going to make y'all watch it. <laughs> Next, we sell off all of this shit. <laughs> I always find it interesting that this is like an actual limited area of space. Instead of just making it, I don't know, an infinitely scrolling thing so you can keep putting stuff in it. It's weird that you actually have to fill it up like that. Uh, I do need to actually go in here. And take this stuff out. Because of the way this uh, works. You can't get rid of stuff when you have stuff in the things you're trying to get rid of. Everything else should be empty. Yeah, should be fine. So, back to this. So what you can to therapist. Back to mechanic. So we can there. Uh, Ragman. Sell this stuff. Alright. Skewer doesn't buy melee weapons. Rapper will buy grenades, though.
Was the PPSH drum mag always available at level one? I thought that, or with Prapper, I thought that was. Man, it's been a while since I've played Tarkov, uh, legitimately. You know, I haven't really been playing it in in a long while. I am going to examine the guns. The most important thing to examine when it comes to weapons is guns, ammo, and mags. Uh, honestly, you could avoid examining a lot of other stuff pretty much. Uh, also, bags and armor and regs and stuff. It's a pretty good idea to examine just because you're going to be... You're unable to use weapons if you haven't examined them and all the parts. You can't like reload mags if you don't know what the mag is, apparently. Which is funny. So we're going to grab everything we can with those. Okay. And uh, now that we've sold almost everything, still need... Uh, we have a couple more grenades and some melee weapons. Who the hell buys... I know Jaeger will buy melee weapons, uh, but I don't think anyone else will, really. Yeah, so let's sell off the rest of these grenades. Now, one thing you might be uh, remember from Hardcore is generally you're supposed to delete everything, including the money and whatnot. You're not selling it. Uh, that's what's different a little bit here, is we're actually doing that. And we're immediately going to buy one of these. Go to Fence. And sell these. This is a good place to find ammo and mags and stuff that you don't find on other NPCs because it's, you know, shit stuff. <laughs> or guns that you can't buy currently normally. Even if they're in destroyed conditions, you can still examine them. So, what exactly is this series? Um, well, y'all will have seen the title, so... I mean, you clicked on the video, probably knowing what the title was, so it's not like it's that big of a mystery, is it? But still, you might be questioning, like, what we're doing here. Well, I guess we'll find... we'll just have to get into it. So this is going to be the series where I take y'all on a bit of a journey through Tarkov. And the goal of this series is simple. The goal isn't to, I don't know, level up, reach max level, or any of that jazz. This guy, our PMC, we're never touching him. We are going to be playing Scavs, because this is the Scavs Guide to Tarkov. And I want you all to experience everything that there is beautiful about this Scavy boy, and how much money you can make using Scavs. Now, there is one thing that's, that's nice about PMCs that affects Scavs, and that has to do with the hideout over here. With the hideout, you can unlock and upgrade it, and eventually you can get to an intel center. But the thing that's important about the Intel Center is to get to the Intel Center, uh, you require certain levels of these things. Security, vents, stuff like that. Now, uh, the basic level of the Intel Center only requires uh, level 2 vents and level 2 security, which mine, it lowers the scav cooldown timer. That's a nice feature. Uh, but the problem with that is... To get to level 2 on certain things, or level 3, or increase those higher, you require levels with traders. You're not going to get levels with traders unless you get levels on your PMC. So how do you get levels on a PMC when never playing the PMC? I'm not sure we can. There are some tasks that don't exactly require you to, uh, you know, 
actually do certain things, but there's not really much you can do. For example, we can actually do this quest by finding Salewas as a scav. Uh, but we can't do this task where we have to go kill scavs because we're not playing our PMC. But I think it'll be an interesting journey to experience Tarkov exclusively from a scav's point of view. So let's get it right into it. The good news is you guys don't have to wait the time to actually experience being a scab. Now, I'm not going to play on streets right away because it is insane right now with the people playing on it. And it's insane with the fact that I have no idea anything about streets. I still need to do some research and actually learn the map before I go jumping into that. So in the meantime, we're going to actually start off with one of my old favorites, Shoreline. This is where we're going to make our money. Uh, we're going to go in nice and early morning. Yeah. And we don't care about any of that. Also nice is y'all get to skip the loading times. Look at this chad of a scav. Perfect starting scav. Also got a really nice rig. Really good for storing lots of small loot. Oh my gosh, that took a while. <laughs> I think I was waiting for 10 minutes. Well, oh geez. One of my settings. I haven't played in a minute. I feel a little laggy. Uh, hmm. I'm going to need to mess around with some settings. I don't know what they changed uh, since the last update that might have affected me. Give me a minute. Man, I have no idea. All right, well, this is fine. Time to get moving. Where the hell are we right now? Okay, I see where. Gotta go this way. Now, for those of you who... I don't know. Enjoy my content. You might experience uh, a similar feeling with this episode, as with this series, as with some of my other series, which is the kind of content I go for. The kind of stuff you can just sort of put on in the background and kind of pay attention to, but you don't really have to. I did not create get a great spawn, did I? Why am I so... I might need to look at some settings. Uh, because, yeah, that... I don't think it's my game settings. I think it's something with my PC in the background. I probably just need to restart my PC, honestly. And that'll fix it. So this first raid is going to be a little jittery, and we'll see what happens with the next one after I restart my PC. Lighthouse, Ruined Road, and North Path. Alright. Does the audio sound double to you? Like, it sounds like I'm hearing two people breathing, which is weird. Well, that's kind of ass. This series is not going to be a lot of action, I would imagine. It's probably just going to be me running around, trying to get as much money as possible. It's, it's, kind of, it's the kind of thing you put on in the background, you listen to whilst you're doing something else. Maybe you put it on while you're playing Tarkov yourself, or you just sort of enjoy it in the, as you're going around. Yeah, what the hell is with my breathing? It's like I'm I'm hearing two people breathing. It is so disorienting. No idea. I sort of had the idea for this series a while ago, but I wasn't really sure how it would go. I, so I'm interested to hear you guys' opinion on it. Like, is this something you would watch? Hey there, how's it going? Howdy, howdy. You a scab or a PMC? I am indeed a PMC. Ah, cool. I'm a scab, but I'm friendly. How's it going? Uh, 
Uh, is there a... Stopping? No, there's someone inside the house who seems to be dying. I think there's a scam. I'm trying to kill him. Ah! Uh. Oh, don't worry. I'm. Oh, the scab's out here near me. Uh, you wanna? You can come kill him. I'll just stand behind the wood piled right next to the house. He's over to the left uh, in the bushes now. Alright, well, uh, there's a lion here. I don't have a backpack or anything. I don't have a backpack either. That's a real shame. Alright, let me kill this scab, and if he's got one, you can have Ah, cool. Uh, yeah, he's right next between these trees over here. Up here he's coming. He's got a green hat on. He's going behind the house. Oh, you nearly got him. Yeah, he's got him. You got him? He's got a backpack. Oh, cool. I'm coming. Uh, yeah. Just, just take him. He's got a pretty nice rig. I don't know if you have a better one. Oh yeah, I think his rig's better than the one you've got. Anyway, so where's the lion at? It's right here in this shed. Beside the truck. Have a good one, man. You too. Have a great day. <laughs> so, now, see, that's the kind of interactions I enjoy. You know, being nice, having a... I don't really want this, I want the lion. Uh, you know, having positive interactions with people. Whoa. That's new. New uh, streamer item got added. <laughs> Beautiful. So... Yeah, I am very much a nice person when it comes to most situations. I like fighting people, but I also enjoy, you know, earning money. I find cash to be quite a good uh, motivator. <laughs> I gotta go the opposite direction uh, where that guy was going. So, yeah, ten minutes. Lion's not a bad haul. Good piece of money. It's worth more on the flea market, and... I don't think I'm going to get to that point, because you have to be level 15 to unlock the flea market. So, you know, it's not like something I can actually use, even if I could sell to the flea. So, we're going to be selling to traders for the most part. Still, lion's pretty decent. It's also something necessary for crafting something in the hideout later on, though that's not really uh, going to be relevant either. I will upgrade my hideout as much as possible. I think I can get to the first level of the Intel Center, maybe. I'm not sure if level two of the security. Hey, how's it going? Have a good day. That guy's not talking to me, and I don't want to stick around. keep bushes and trees and such in the way so that I'm not an easy shot. Rule number one of being a skev. You are a roach. Your goal is to survive. <laughs> Killing people is good and all, but, you know, money is worth is more, more important. Which I know sounds like a sort of a greedy... You know, capitalist idea, but really, uh, everywhere is cap. There's capitalism. There's also money and death. <laughs> All right, so mm, North Fence Passage. We can make it to North Fence Passage if we keep running. We could also go to the Lighthouse or Ruined Road right now if we wanted to go that direction. Trying to think where Ruined Road was again. It's been a minute since I've used that extract. Yeah, I, I was talking about it. Uh, this is the sort of series you're gonna you put on in the background. Just listen to. I don't know. Maybe pay attention for whenever I'm doing some looting or some interaction. But for the most part, yeah, something to relax, to enjoy, 
pretty casual. Let's see how we progress. I don't know. Y'all, I want y'all to let me know what you think of this, if it's the kind of thing that you enjoy. I mean, there, there'll be some action, I'm sure. Terrible. Uh, but there's also going to be a lot of this, just running around, not much going on. Eh. You just got to roll with it. Have fun. Relax. Take a deep breath. Ignore my breathing as my scav dies. That kind of thing. Hmm. I'm next. We're going to be going to a bit more of an intense location uh, for the next raid. I hope you all stick around, enjoy. It should get better as far as the. <laughs> FPS goes, hopefully, once I do a little reset. Hmm. I feel like this is going to be a very, I don't know, relaxed and chill series for me. See, the thing about Tarkov is, whenever I play it by myself uh, on the live game, I get very, like, uh, shaky and panicky and just, like, I don't know if y'all experience that. It's a kind, It's kind of a problem where you just... Like, those intense situations in online games. I don't know what it is about online games that does that. Like, I don't have that problem in single-player games. Dark Stalker. Uh, I get jumped on by a Chimera, and I freak out for like a second, and then I'm fine. I don't get all shaky. But, I don't know. I get a little more panicky whenever I'm playing by myself. Maybe it's because I'm quiet and not talking or something that makes it more intense. Because I feel fine, uh, and I'm very chatty. <laughs> Oh, hey, how's it going? Hold on. Hitting the stashes, too? I already got the one by the mm -hmm. uh, tower over there. There was nothing in it. Yeah, yeah. Still in the fence, so. mm -hmm. Ever since they added voice chat and, you know, scav karma, it's been a lot more chill. It used to be so intense and insane. Like, playing scavs, you couldn't trust anyone. You just shot whoever you saw. Everything was crazy. Nowadays, yeah, just chat it up, you know, have a good time. Look, like, live and let live. There, there's a guy I really like who plays Tarkov. Um, I'm going to go and drop him, his name here. Uh, that friendly guy. He does this whole pacifist Tarkov series where he plays the entire game without ever killing a person. Uh, and... I don't know, they, whenever he comes to quests that require him to kill people uh, for doing stuff, he just, he asks them if they'll let him do it, and then they'll, they'll like, give them stuff, and he, like, gives away Red Rebels and key cards and other stuff, and he just has a very friendly and uh, fun atmosphere, and I enjoy that. That's the kind of thing that I'd like to be involved in, you know? Helping people out, you, you ask other scavs, like, hey, is there something you need to request? You toss them stuff that you find, you know? Things like that. that that's the enjoyable side of just social gaming, you know? It doesn't have to be every man versus the world sometimes. If you want that kind of thing, there's plenty of other Tarkov content to go around. Yeah, you know, that, that's not what I'm after here. Uh, man, this, this raid wasn't exactly great. We didn't really get a lot out of it, which is a bit of a shame. But it could have been worse. And it's still going to make us a fair bit of money. I've done raids where I get in and I go through the stashes and I find all kinds of crazy stuff, and I end up coming out with, like, uh, hundreds of thousands of rubles per scav raid, and I can... I got to the point in one of my uh, previous wipes where I had scav raids every, like, five minutes or something, so I'd basically just go in a scav raid every once in a while. And by the time I was done selling, I was almost ready for the next one. I could just... It's really, this is also a bit of an enjoyable, relaxing series for me, because I'm just going to be sitting around watching YouTube while I wait for uh, the raid to load in and, you know, other things while my recording's paused. Yeah, I think, I think this is going to be my chillest series.
which eh, might be boring for some parts of it. Uh, other parts will be pretty entertaining. It's going to be... I think I'm going to do, like, long-form content episodes where it's just every raid for, or a couple raids. Uh, and it's like each raid is only 15, 10 minutes or something because the scav uh, joins in late in the raid. So it's not like it's as long as a forty-five minute full 45-minute raid where, like, my previous series was. And occasionally there'll be some action, you know. But, yeah, for the most part, pretty chill. And we're going to see if we can't max out that scav karma the passive way. You know? I don't know. Well, there's, uh, there, there's other ways to get scav karma that we're probably going to have to engage in, which that'll come later. And... There we go. So, the things we want to keep for uh, now is, you know, parts that we're actually going to be using for our uh, quests and whatnot. Or our building of our hideout. Now, this ammo is very shit and not worth much money, but hey, money's money. And we're going to actually go ahead and hand that shotgun over, even though we can't finish this quest, just because I want to. I don't know, maybe eventually I'll decide to start including the PMC stuff and we'll just, we'll make it a whole thing where we only do the quest parts of it and we ignore anything that's not, we actually don't take any loot out of the raid or something, or we make it a whole deal. Who knows? We'll see. Really, I think I'm going to let y'all decide these kind of things. Those are, that's pretty valuable. 50k. Uh, we're not selling that to Ragman, though. Uh, therapist will spend a full 50k for it. She's the best one. Yeah, 100k for Alliance, see? Nice stuff. So even though that raid was pretty simple, we still earned a couple hundred k rubles uh, pretty simply. I've had a raid where I got a million rubles because we found, like, graphics cards and other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this thing's too damaged to be sold to... Uh, yeah. Let's check. Yeah. So we sell it off to... Fence. And hey, money. I might actually go back and look at my recording, and we'll see how much money we earn per episode, and we'll sort of make it a thing. I'll put that in the description if y'all are curious. I'm kind of obsessed with the whole... I don't know. There's something satisfying about examining items, isn't there? Okay, enough of that. <laughs> so it's going to take 20 minutes for my scav to, re to reset normally. The other way to increase to decrease the scav timer, uh, inc lower that cooldown, is actually scav karma, which is noted with fence. So we're at point twenty one karma because we... Uh, extracted in a raid as a scav for the first... And so that gives us a extra little one or whatever. And so as we increase our karma with him, our scav timer will go down. Now, that doesn't really matter for you guys since you don't have to sit here and wait for that. I will see you all with the next raid. Here we are with another 10-minute loading time. Let's see, maybe it'll beat the 10-minute mark. Done. Da-da-dun. da da done. Da -da -dun. Dun. Da -da -dun. Da -da -dun. 98%! Come on! You got a whole 10 seconds to get there. Get even more time. Oh! Oh! Oh, you gotta hurry! Eh. You missed it. Shame. What a shame. Oh, man. Yeah, that's my favorite part, is the uh, waiting 30 minutes to, uh, you know, do my scav raid. And then waiting 10 more minutes to actually get into the raid. Oh. Let's see. Maybe we'll actually be able to use the Scavlands extract. We might actually find a friendly PMC if we're lucky. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I didn't restart my PC because then I was like, yeah, I'm in the middle of a recording here and I'm going to have to...
cut and splice these recordings together then. And I'm not going to do that, so... We have to deal with framey game until... I'm not even sure if that will fix it, honestly. Hello? Well, live and let die. These are usually unsearched because, uh, who in their right mind comes out here in the middle of the field and tries to search these things? Those sewing kits are usually pretty good. It's like 20k, I think. At least they used to be. I don't know how prices have changed since I played in the past. Oh, hey, how's it going? That's just an actual scav. Wait, no, it's not. Because they're looting. Well, have a good day. I don't know who killed that scab, but... Not my problem. I'm kind of curious, do you guys think I should play my PMC and try and do the quests and stuff, or do you enjoy the idea of this series being a scav exclusive? Uh, reserve. Yeah, this place is gonna be looted to hell. There's, like, very little chance I'll find something in here, but you never know. I prefer... stash hunting. since I played reserve, but I think I remember how to navigate the place for the most part. Hello? Is there a nice friendly PMC who would like to do the PMC scav extract with me? What was that? Yeah, uh, the scav PMC extract is a great way to level your scav karma. One of the uh, best ways, in fact. I honestly prefer looting this place coming onto this raid at nighttime because you can actually uh, usually find more loot if you are good at navigating the dark. Hello? Hello, are there any friendly PMCs around? We don't really have a lot of time. Which is the real shame here. Did that say the... Let me see. Armor train's already gone. Uh, checkpoint fence, deep over manic door. 
Hmm. You can sometimes find tank batteries uh, in here. Uh, rarely. I found one before on one of these uh, shells. You can also find the tank shells. Sometimes. Most of that stuff gets grabbed, but you know, that's good. The only problem with coming in at nighttime is you guys won't really be able to see, which is the primary downside. But if I get a scab that has a flashlight on their gun, I might do some nighttime stuff. Uh, still be hard to see, but you know. Someone actually opened this door. Yeah, this is normally locked. This is a room that has tons of good loot, but it's probably been looted mostly dry of anything. Uh, you can find stuff like tank shells and... Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. You a scav or a PMC? Uh, I mean, what does it look like? Uh, scav, honestly. I was hoping to find a PMC to do the scab PMC extract. Yeah. <laughs> I got a bag. Um, I'm just relaxing, walking around. Uh, let's see. Do you need the? Do you have the checkpoint fence extract? Yeah, you want to go together? You good? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest, I just forgot where the extract is. I'm gonna go look around on my own. Um, so this is why I have maps on my phone for these kinds of situations, so I can just look stuff up. Uh, let me see. I just need to find my reserve map. This is... that's my shoreline. It's customs. Yeah, the uh, best things to loot in these buildings are generally upstairs and in the rooms with jackets and such. We're gonna keep going this way. I think checkpoint fence is in this direction. Uh... Ow. Not really paying attention. Uh, raiders can spawn over in this area near the train, which is problematic if you want to, you know, not get murdered as a scav. Like, I can't tell if that's a raider or a scav over there. Hmm can't seem to find... I have a reserve map, but this is a key map, which... Okay, it does have the... Oh, checkpoint fence is actually back this way. So... <laughs> what else do I have? Yeah, we're going to checkpoint fence. That's the easiest one. Uh... Whoa, look at him spin. <laughs> Down here in these bunkers is a good place to find some stuff occasionally. I found solar array panels. Uh, I found one one time when I didn't, as a scab, when I didn't have a backpack, and that sucked. It was like on top of these crates or something right there. Uh, you can also find some good mechanical parts in here, though... Yeah, the problem with reserve is it's usually looted up pretty good during the daytime, especially. Man, there's been a, there's a lot of scavs already running around here before I got in and joined a late raid.
down in the tunnels is another good place to look if you've got the time, because you could find plenty of dead bodies and some dead raiders down there uh, that have leftover gear. So, good place to check out when you have the time. Anyway, checkpoint fence is like right around this corner over here. So we were like right next to it already. So this uh, area over here on the other side of this. It's like in that area. Oh, these haven't been looted. The problem with these is you can't really tell if they've been looted unless you spawned in the raid before they got looted. Because they get closed, uh... Yeah, this has definitely been looted. Anyway, this should be checkpoint fence, I believe. Somewhere over here. Yeah. Ah, this white raid was kind of a bust. Didn't really get much. Got a couple things, but eh. Mediocre. Could have been much better. Alright. Alright, this time I remembered to transfer everything from inside the bags and whatnot as I was doing it. Yeah, these are 23k each. Uh, condensed milk's uh, 15k. Generally, if it's over 10k per slot, it's worth taking. Otherwise, it's not. So, you know. Uh, is the way I usually see it. Go ahead and inspect all these so we don't have to worry about that later. I'm surprised he doesn't want the Shattered Mask. It's probably a bit da too damaged for him. Or what have you. Will he buy the gun? Well, he'll buy the mags. Uh, I might should have kept the LCD. I actually, no, I need uh, working LCD screens too. So, uh, for the upgrade to security or whatever. I need a measuring tape for security currently. Alright. And we'll see the next time. Ooh, nice. We got an SV-98 there. By the look of things. Alright. See y'all in the next one. We actually got in in under 10 minutes this time. Wow, we got a really good... <laughs> Character. We got a good backpack. We got meds. We even have a good gun with a really nice Valde scope. Like, now if only we weren't laggy. But, it should be alright for what we're trying to do here. How much time do we have? 23 minutes. Ooh. BMCs are quite possible. Where the hell am I? Anyway, I need to go to railway. I need. To, I was trying to find a way outside of the under the garage. Yeah, but I don't really want to go in the mall. I think I do know where I am now, though. This is perfect. We're just going to hang out out here and go hit up some stashes outside. 
some nice ones right here. Gotta be a little careful for PMCs leaving the wall to go to extract. Sugar is actually not that valuable unless you're a PMC, uh, sadly. Still, something to collect. Extracts over here, but I don't really want to extract yet. Can't tell if I just got shot at if that was someone just shooting elsewhere. Don't really want to find out. I think that's just someone shooting at something else. Oh shit, that's an airdrop over there. Well. Either it's already fully looted, or nobody's touched it, and someone's watching with a sniper. Live and let live. We could get really lucky and no one's touched it at all. And it's unlooted. Alright, so... There we go. Ah, it's been looted. It's a medical crate. Let's see if there's anything good left. Probably not. Salt. I don't, that's new. I don't know what salt's... Uh, value is, honestly. Alright. Okay, I can actually use Emercom too. Well, that's good. We can actually might go hit do that instead. Uh, yeah, this is looted, which means the other stashes around here are probably looted too. The rain kind of makes it harder to hear footsteps and such. Nice rig. Yep. 
So, single item could go in those. Don't care about that. All right. Pocket money. Fifteen minutes still. Yeah, we got plenty of time. We actually do want to take our time, too, because the more time we take, the less likely we are to run into PMCs in weird spots, like over here on these sides. crouching and standing up is messing with my stamina. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Just keep moving, just keep moving, 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 moving. in my nose. Uh... Oh, man. Which one was this? Okay, so it should be more to the left over here, yeah? So the best way to remember this one is it lines up with the straight part of the road. And it's between this big and small tree. Somebody's been looting these, because that shouldn't happen. Which is a bit of a shame. Normally these stashes are untouched, because, like, seriously, who's going to run around out here? loot these stashes and whatnot, but yeah, some people. Towards the start of the raid uh, season, 
starter wipes and whatnot, it's a little more competitive on the stash looting. right over here, actually. Yeah. Between these two small trees. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of garbage here, which is kind of sad. We have such a good setup on this character, too. Um, might be worth running into the mall and just seeing if there's some dead bodies we can loot real quick uh, before leaving out the back. Since I know the stashes around here have been looted. That might be better. not super worried about PMC still in the mall. Like, most of them will be getting out by this point. There might be, I don't know, one. And if so, maybe I can convince them to go to the scab extract with me, if they don't kill me immediately. The audio in this is buggy right now. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, certain sounds don't sound right. I don't know, maybe it's just my headset. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe y'all aren't experiencing any of these problems that I'm experiencing. I guess y'all can tell me if, uh, if you notice the problem, too. If it really is just me. Hey there! Hello? Can you hear me? How you doing? That's a real person. I don't like people who don't talk back to me. You can be friendly and not have a mic or whatever, but at the same time, uh, it's hard to trust someone if they don't want to talk to you. Seems sketchy. Yeah, they, they've probably already been through here. This is all most likely looted. I'd like to find a measuring tape, honestly. But chances are... Mm, I'm not sure if I will. Interchange is a great place to find tools. I really like running the back of the stores over here for toolboxes and whatnot. Don't really
really have a lot of time right now. Uh, enough, I have enough to go maybe check a couple more toolboxes in this part, but we gotta get out of here pretty quick. Fox Ram's pretty good. That's pretty shit. Sewing kit. That's 20 more kit. That's 23k more. Always nice to find. Uh, a bit of a shame. I was really hoping for. Uh, tape nice and quick. Um, we, we can check one more stash over here, but I'm not thinking it'll have anything. But we can try. Hey, excellent backed up too much. And then I was too close, so I hate it when this happens. I don't have enough stamina. Someone's been here. Man, there's a ragman quest where you have to find a shamaska or whatever. Uh, the ski mask with holes for eyes or some other bullshit. And I got stuck in that quest for so long because I never could find one. Make it to where your sensitivity gets fucked up when you're walking, or something. That's interesting. It's harder. You can't like move your scope further over as easily. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering if I should, uh, if I was going to do a PMC raid, I would hold on to some of these bigger backpacks just so I have them to take in so I have space to hold loot. Like, I don't even need a gun, honestly. Well, maybe I should have a pistol or something so scavs don't target me and I can shoot them. But, eh. Maybe not. Maybe I just need to play the pansy and run away from scabs if I see him. <laughs> Salt. Mm, not worth much. Probably need it for crafting like the nutrition station or something. Speaking of, I should actually, before I go doing all this, let's take a step into my hideout. And we're actually going to look at what's required for crafting some 
stuff. For the Intel Center, we need... Well, I know for security we need the measuring tape. That's what we really need. For the Intel Center, though, we need to find maps, Intel folder, factory plan map. We need vents level 2, which requires battery, that, metal parts. I think, did we find some metal parts? We, no, we would. it would be showing. Uh, and then we need... The vent, we need the vents and the security. Well, oh man, what was needed for security level 2? I'm gonna have to look into this because they've added stuff. Like this used to just be an Intel folder, then they had these maps. So I'm gonna have to find more things. It's a whole process. What do I need for some of these other things too? Matches duct tape. Mat more matches. Defective wall. This is new. Yeah, this is new. I have no idea what this is about. That's interesting. I actually don't know what happens with that. Might have to look into that at some point. <laughs> Alright, well, none of what I have right now is anything I'm sure I need. Um, yeah, we're just going to sell it. We'll find more stuff if we need it. accidentally hit the thing there. Just sell it all. Yeah, packs of sugar are still 10k, uh, but the, yeah, these they sell for way more on the flea. You can turn these into air filters on their own with the lavatory. I'm actually going to hold on to this, because I can't remember if this is the quest one with the one with that actually says ski hat with holes for eyes. I think it is. Even if I never get to that quest, because I'm not doing it, uh, I might hold on to it just in case we decide to do that. I don't know. I'll wait for y'all's opinion on these things. Uh, I think... Yeah, that site's worth a lot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slap this down here. I'm going to keep the site. And we're going to sell off all of this junk. Yeah, 20k for the scope, but it's way more if you wanted to buy one. And bam. So we started today with eh, not much, you know. And now we're ending it with two scav junk boxes to start off with, so we can start storing a bunch of good loot. How nice is that? Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to go do a bunch of... Uh, in What's the word? You know... Inspecting, that's what it is. I'm going to go do a bunch of inspecting, and in the, whilst I'm doing that, y'all can go, you have yourself a great day, get a snack, I don't know, enjoy yourself. Maybe the next episode's out already if you actually enjoy this series, and you can just continue watching. <laughs> uh, either way, I will see you all later. Bye!